हेलो ऑल गुड इवनिंग होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग गुड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर कोर जावा एंड सेलिनियम डेमो राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ दिस इज उमा महेश्वरी जिलेला I have seven years of experience into QA testing and QA team handling. I am an ISTQB certified tester, and I am a Java Selenium certified tester. I am experienced into team leading, and I am experienced in providing KT sessions and the handling the clients. Till now, I handle the different clients, Roche, Nordia Bank. Dosho Bank, ENY, ABB Automotive Domain, and FMG Insurance Domain clients. This is about myself. We'll quickly go to the agenda of Core Java. What we are going to cover. Yeah, here we are going to cover what is a Java and why Java is required. Why Java is one of the popular language. and where we are using the java and what will be the feature of a java and what is a oops language and what topics we are going to cover as part of the training sessions these things we are going to cover as part of the core java agenda and let me go to the next slide yes here we are going to discuss about what is a java basically java is a programming language and it is used for creating a software that makes it will be compatible like how uh, if you if you are taking in a real time example we all having the some language language should be there if you want to communicate a per, a person two persons one or two persons so the same way so java is one of the programming language by using this we can write the set of instructions to the program so that it will build the software and it can do the communication between the uh, client and server so these kind of things java language is useful nowadays and by using java developer can develop mobile applications gui applications web based applications scientific gaming and big data etc different kinds of applications he can develop and java can be used in the integrating with automation tools example java integrated with the selenium like automation testing also we are doing by using the one of the programming language called java Java is a platform independent. It can work with the any other operating system, Linux, Mac, Unix, etc. And it will be object oriented programming language. So because of this object oriented programming language character, Java programming language become a familiar nowadays. And there are uh, four platforms in the Java programming language. those things are java standard edition and enterprise edition uh, edition and micro edition and java fx these four versions are available in the market but most of the people are using the java uh, standard edition uh, when they are doing their uh, development or testing whatever it may be then i am going to the next slide so in this slide we are going to discuss what is the feature of a java learners or java programmers in which domain they can settle so these things we can discuss in this slide actually java is one of the programming language so through this we can develop the software we can test the software and we can give a maximum support for the developer people and the testing people so this is the main advantage of this programming language we can say so it is widely used for the many industries so example financial industries retail and health insurance healthcare etc these kind of people uh, uh, they are using for their own application designing this they are using this as a language okay newer technologies like artificial intelligence and internet things these and all built by using the java language only so the demand for the java developers will be high 
in coming future also opportunities will be more for them in testing tester can test or automate the application by integrating a core java language with one of the automation tool called selenium so it is a it is also one of the advantage we can say if you are opting for the selenium most of the tool in automation testing one of the most uh, demandful tool in the uh, it industry we can say so you need to have good knowledge enough knowledge in the coding at least the basic concepts of the core java if you want to work as a automation tester so yes automation testing requires a coding with the extent varying based on factors like complexity of a chosen framework and customization based on the complexity customization frame based on the framework complexity or customization will be depends and but core java should be uh, a proper language we are using for the selenium nowadays it is one of the most popular technology and most demandful technology in the it industry nowadays and now we are going to go through the what are the features of a java so java become a popular because of it is containing of features of some of the features what are the features if you are seeing means uh, java is one of the object oriented programming language it is also one of the advantage without creating a object everything treats java everything treats as a object without object we can't run the java programs like we can't handle the variables and methods without objects and java is a simple language and a very secured language and it is a platform independent it can work in the any platform any os and java is a very robust language so in form of memory allocations and all we if you see and it is a very portable it will it can easily portable from one environment to another environment one system to another system one software to another software and it is a architecture is a neutral it is a neutral architecture we can say it is also one of the good advantage like uh, it will be uh, jvm how jvm interacts and it will be uh compiling how it will be compiling and interacting so these things and all we can say it is architectural neutral and it is a dynamic language and it is a interpreting language so uh it will change it it have a capacity that it can interpret and compile the things whatever uh, we are giving and it can give the proper and readable format output so and it is a high performance performance will be good and it is a multi threading within a short within a same time we can execute a two to three programs more than a one program like that it, it is uh, it is handling a multi threading capacity and it is a very distributive language so because of these things these many features java become a popular language nowadays okay let me go through the oops concept oops concept is one of the uh, uh, powerful concept for the java because of this oops concept only the java become this much of uh, familiar so oops concept means we will be having the we will be tell like four pillars four pillars of a oops concept is inheritance polymorphism encapsulation and abstraction these things we can call it as a oops uh because of the, the these four are the pillars of the oops because of this four uh, uh object uh, this um java become a more popular because it is providing the inheritance that means code reusability if i want to use the same code again and again means if you uh, by using the inheritance concept we can achieve it and one more thing is a polymorphism polymorphism is a method overloading we can see so we can achieve the method overloading or overriding from the polymorphism why means if sometimes if i want to work with the more arguments or uh, more like uh, different parameters for the same method that time we, i will have to use a overloading and over overriding means if i want to 
uh, use the same method which we have used again so we are overriding the same method again and again in the when we are using the inheritance so this is uh, one of the best advantages we can say with the polymorphism and we can go for the encapsulation data encapsulation means safe and securing the data so encapsulation provides and safety and securing the data for example it will be like it will be safe sec uh, so it will providing a safety for the data and it is providing the secure like if you are uh, attaining some private or if you are declaring a variable as a private for that public class and all it will be accessible only for that class remaining class and all uh, they can't access it until they are using getter and setter methods so this is uh, one of the good uh, advantage we can say through this encapsulation and abstraction data abstraction data abstraction if why do if uh, user wants like i don't want to show all the data or uh, like uh, whatever the unnecessary data i don't want to expose so that kind of things i can use a uh, abstract class or abstract method so this is a uh, one of the best practice we can say so it will leads it will it will be good for the code hiding and it will be good for the interfaces creation and all so this is one of the Uh, these things are the best advantages of oops concept we can say because of this oops concept only java become a familiar language okay and i will go through the things what uh, the topics are we are going to cover as part of uh, as, as per the java selenium training sessions so i am going to cover like uh, java is a java's programming environment so i will give the setup installation of the eclipse and all and we'll tell about a uh, java keywords and java identifiers like packages classes objects methods variables etc and we'll go for the java basic syntaxes and java programming structure and we'll go for the java language elements and fundamentals what and all it is available like java comments java data types java variables java operators and java control flow like a decision making statements looping statements branching statements these kind of things and all we can go through and uh, we will be go through the java specialized concepts like java strings handling java data structures java io operations like uh, read user input write programs output read files write files java exception handling etc these kind of things we are going to focus and we are going to focus on the object oriented programming things like uh, java classes java objects java methods built in methods java user defined methods and we'll go for the constructors and java object oriented programming language inheritance polymorphism abstraction and we'll go for the practicing sessions also and uh, we'll practice the interview prospective questionnaires like in strings arrays looping commands collections where the, uh, the where they are asking about the logics only in these areas so we are going to concentrate on this and i am going to cover for the selenium and what we are going to do uh, with the selenium things in the future as part of the automation testing yeah today's agenda for this uh, selenium i am going to cover what is a selenium and what is a selenium web driver and how it is interacting with the browsers and uh, what is a what are the components are available for the selenium this kind of things architectural diagram of the selenium these kind of things i am going to cover well so now we'll discuss about what is a selenium selenium is one of the automation tool and it is a open source it is free to everyone no need of a license everything these kind of things that's why nowadays everyone looking into the selenium because of it is a open source tool so no need to pay money so that's why selenium become this much of familiar if you see the job postings nowadays uh, like 90 to 99% all the automation testing is depends upon the java selenium or python selenium so this much of vital role playing uh, selenium is playing uh, this kind of uh, vital role in the automation industry we can say so selenium is one of the 
free and open source automation testing framework and it is used for validating the web applications across the different browsers and platforms cross browser testing a uh, platform different platforms we can do we can use this selenium as a good automation tool selenium is used for it allows user to test the web application functionality on different browsers and perform cross browser testing to check if the website functions consistently across different browsers that is the thing then selenium web driver supports a language is different programming languages that include java python ruby c sharp javascript perl and php these are the different uh, languages where selenium web driver is supporting then selenium runs in the different os those are windows linux mac os it is a open source software released under the apache license 2.0 so this is this are these are the advantages of selenium so because of this open source and uh, like a platform independent a browser friendly cross browser testing selenium become a familiar so we'll go through the next slide we are going to discuss on a selenium web driver what is a web driver a web driver is a browser automation framework it will be it is a interface actually it will implement the classes for the different browsers and selenium web driver is a collection of open source apis and it is used to automate the testing the web applications it will allows testers to interact web browser programmatically like a robot if you run the program like a robot how it will operate like program will operate the web browsers like a uh, chrome Uh, Firefox, Internet Explorer, etc., etc. It is a uh, one of the popular Selenium component. We can say web Selenium web driver is one of the popular Selenium component. It is a open source availability. The Selenium community is continuously helping the developers and uh, software engineers to automate the web browser features. and functionality being an open source tool selenium also helps you customize the code for better management and enhance the functionality of predefined functions and classes so it will be a more open source because of the things uh, uh, even selenium community is continuously helping both the developers and the testers to do the uh, still a uh, few more automation on the browsers so this is the advantage we can say with the selenium web driver so now we'll quickly go through the selenium architecture so this selenium architecture means how selenium will going to work so selenium architecture how it will work means uh, if you see in this diagram three parts are there selenium client browser drivers and browsers we all know what are the browsers the browsers are what we are uh, regularly browsing or surfing for something like uh, chrome firefox safari opera mini etc these things are done there okay and uh, automation testing in the sense it should be automating the it should be automate automatically it should uh, automatically it should automatically it should perform the automation testing sorry uh, some uh, called out okay automatically it should got the it should operate the uh, browser and it should do their functionality automatically there is no humor in human interaction in between the browser when we are doing the uh, uh, automation task okay so this is a selenium client selenium client means like we it is a coding we can say okay whatever the coding we wrote in the like selenium uh, uh, by using the programming languages java python ruby etc etc so we will be writing the code this code so it it will be interacts with the browser drivers so these are the firefox driver chrome driver safari driver opera driver etc those are the browser drivers we can say okay this code will interact with the browser drivers okay browser drivers will fetch will send the intimation to the uh, proper browsers okay so now if you are working for the chrome driver then chrome driver 
browser brow this chrome driver browser driver will send intimation to the chrome browser and chrome browser will respond to this chrome driver browser and will get the output like this it will work this is the total architecture we can say architectural diagram of selenium architecture we can say okay next we can go through the selenium components selenium components means we will be having the in selenium we are having the selenium ide selenium rc selenium grid and selenium web driver these are the uh, four components we can say in selenium available but nowadays we are using selenium web driver only so we are using we are uh, they merged selenium rc and uh, grid uh, together and we are using the selenium um, web driver okay so this is a version it is uh, available nowadays so this is about the selenium components which are available so i would like to tell you about uh, this is about the demo session so i would like to show the website of sdlc please reach out to us please reach out to us if you have any queries or if you want to wish to continue that training with us and if you have any support needed uh, these kind of things please reach out to us this is our website you can we, you people can say and uh, you can see like a uh, what and all courses we are having see different courses we are having so in that we are providing the testing course so we are providing the automation testing java selenium and along with the manual testing so nowadays offers are going on 50% discount on the each course you can see so if you see the details what and all things we are going to cover in the automation testing we are going to cover the java and selenium here and there is a separate training session for manual testing as well and there is a separate session for the master testing we can say like all the uh, ma manual testing database testing and uh, automation testing all these three also we are clubbing and we are uh, teaching the uh, students so please uh, go through it this one see this is a manual testing course details which is provided so the peop the persons are uh, who are uh, willing to only for the manual testing even they can show the interest and they can learn quickly and they can get a job and nowadays um if the people who are have who are willing to keep their uh, keep the experience in the IT sector so manual testing will be worth for them so and we are going to provide a oracle sql as well so this is about the overall courses what are available in the sdlc so please go through it and uh, please join as a family like uh, we will going to help you out okay we, uh, i will look for i look forward to your uh, positive response and thank you thank you everyone thank you for your time being and thank you for taking the demo please let me know if you have any queries